There are many videos on YouTube about the Smith & Wesson M&P, but there are virtually none on how the Smith & Wesson M&P actually works. In this video, I will be demonstrating how the Smith & Wesson M&P trigger works. The trigger is attached to the trigger bar, which is this piece of metal here. As the trigger is pressed back, the trigger bar moves backwards. On this particular model, it has a magazine disconnect. And as you can see, when the magazine is out, the trigger bar is pressed over to the right so that it cannot contact the sear. When a magazine is inserted, now the trigger bar is allowed to move to the left and you can see that it has gone underneath the sear so when I pull the trigger the sear moves out of the way allowing the striker to go forward and the gun will fire. However, if the steer, sear stayed down while the trigger was held back and the slide came forward it would not re-cock the gun. So what happens is the trigger bar gets pushed to the right and as you can see that allows the sear to pop back up which will then catch the striker bar or the striker as the slide moves forward. Then when you release the trigger, the trigger bar moves back under the sear allowing for a follow-up shot and so forth. It doesn't matter what caliber this gun is, they all work the same. And the way that the trigger bar is moved over to the right is through this channel that you see in the slide. The trigger bar rides along in here and as the trigger is pulled back it presses down on this which is the striker block allowing the striker to go forward and fire the gun and then as the slide moves back this comes up the trigger bar moves along this cam and gets pushed to the right allowing the sear to come back up and the striker to be re-engaged. And that is how Smith & Wesson M&P trigger works.